Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton and welcome to Tech Question Tuesday. And today we are answering the question, should I be buying RFID blocking products like this Ridge wallet that I just recently picked up? Let's get at it. All right, before we get into whether you should be buying or not, what are we exactly talking about here? One, RFID technology is used in a lot of different applications. Most commonly, you are seeing it in credit cards. You're able to tap to pay. So what is actually happening during that transaction process? So let's look at this on a really simplistic level. You have a chip that is buried into your credit card surrounded by an antenna. When you put it next to an RFID reader, like you see at your kiosk, it emits a radio wave that powers that antenna and chip to transfer information from the chip to the reader. In this case, it would be your account number so that you can go ahead and pay. Now, RFID is used in a lot of different applications that you might not even be aware of in daily use. One of the most common ones is putting a sticker on products within stores so that when you go through the exit doors, it sounds off an alarm if you have not deactivated the chip to prevent shoplifting. I'm sure we've all been through that situation one time or another where we went through the gate and they didn't deactivate it. This kind of technology is actually becoming really cool to see in stores like Amazon where you actually don't even have checkout counters anymore. You can scan your phone on the way in pick up your product and walk straight out the door and it automatically scans everything that you are carrying in your basket so you can go ahead and pay without a checkout. As you can see, there's a really broad range of use for RFID technology. Now, as we get into more credit cards that have this little sign on it with the little waves, people are starting to get worried that their account information could be read off the cards by someone who wants to steal their identity or steal their account number. That is where products like this Ridge wallet come into play. It insulates your cards from RFID readers so it cannot be read while it's in the wallet. So it begs the question, should you be worried about this and should you be buying RFID blocking products? You can get everything from fanny packs, purses, wallets. There's a wide range of products right now that you can buy that will insulate those radio waves from being able to read your account information. The reality is at this point in time, you probably shouldn't be worried about it. It's a little bit of a tinfoil hat situation. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't have to worry about it in the future. As of right now, RFID technology has to be very close to you to be able to read your account information. So you're not gonna have some guy just come up and bump into you with an RFID reader, steal your account and take all your money, at least not right now. Now that's not to say it's impossible. I've had even a rare case where someone I knew actually had the radio wave frequency stolen from their keyless entry and someone entered their vehicle and stole everything in the vehicle. Now that's a really rare case scenario and we don't have blocking devices for all of our keyless entries. So should you be worried about it? As of this point, probably not but it is a nice feature to have if it's already included in something that you wanna buy, but it's not tinfoil hat time to where you need to be worried about this 24 seven. So do you need to be buying RFID blocking products? Most likely not, but for peace of mind, it's nice to have. So that's all we've got for Tech Question Tuesday today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will be doing a review of this Ridge wallet soon, so hit that subscribe button and the bell sign to be notified of that. And if you have any other Tech Question Tuesdays that you'd like to see, leave it down in the comments section and we'll do a video on that. Until then guys, on to the next one. Thanks, see ya.